This is not, Elton, this is not your video. I cannot believe you right now. It's not always about you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <coughs> well, my friends, I've got some good news for you. Well, eh, you probably don't care. It's really, it's really probably just more good news for me. I got an award. <laughs> Big award too, mommy. Yes. yes, it came out of the blue. One Monday morning, I woke up to my mom being like, oh, Molly, ooh. <laughs> and she was all excited um, to read me this email right here. And essentially, it is from the Clio Awards, which if you don't know, is a very big, very prestigious, very important award uh, in the kind of media and advertising world. There's lots of different verticals. And I specifically won a Clio Health Award, the Honorary Clio Health Award. Now, I have not been to an award show since like 2019, which of course means my guide doggy Elton John has not been to a single award show, which for him is tragic. He'll think it's about him. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's tragic that he hasn't been to one. Because yeah. that's like, that's his vibe. Red carpets and Elton? That's Nothing goes better. So for those who don't know, most awards you apply for. That's typically how all awards work. And I have not applied for awards since pretty early on in my career. Um, I used to think it was like fun and exciting, and it is. And then since 2019, I've just kind of been like, eh. Like, it's not like... It's lovely to win awards, but it's not why I do what I do. So as fun as it was to like get a streamy and get a shorty, I was just like, eh, it's fun and it's cool, but I'm not in it to win awards. Like I'm just in it to like build a community and make content and connect with people around the world and hopefully help people. And so I've stopped applying for awards. I haven't applied since 2019 and I didn't apply for a Clio award, which is an application based award. Um, but they told me that I won an honorary award, which is where every single year their panel of very prestigious judges in the marketing and advertising world vote on an honorary winner. They just randomly select somebody that they believe deserves the award. And this year they picked me, which is crazy. Last year, actually a fellow content creator who is a good friend of mine, Jay Shetty won. Ironically, Jay Shetty and I met when we both won a streamy purpose award. So I'm pretty humbled that I like keep getting awards that Jay Shetty gets because he's incredible. Like I I absolutely love Jay Shetty. My boyfriend and I are like always sending clips of Jay Shetty back and forth to each other. He's amazing. Great advice. Please go follow Jay Shetty. This is now just a Jay Shetty promo video. This is sponsored by Jay Shetty. Actually, just kidding. It's sponsored by Squarespace. Thanks, Squarespace. We appreciate you. If you are looking to start or grow a new online business, Squarespace is the place for you. I host my website, mollyburkofficial.com, over on Squarespace, and there is so much that you can do on there. Squarespace has a ton of different templates that you can use, and then you can customize within it so your website looks completely unique to you. And speaking of custom, they also now have custom merch that you can design and sell through your website, and they handle all of the shipping and inventory, saving you time and money. And if you don't wanna sell your own custom merch on there, you wanna sell something else, they do have the ability to sell things through an online shop as well, both digital virtual products as well as physical products. Plus, you can do things like schedule appointments and so much more. So if you would like to start your Squarespace journey, you can go to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Oh my lord, I am getting so hot and I got a spray tan for the awards earlier and I can't sweat it off. So I should probably go change soon, which is good. I'm about to go to the mall. I got to get a foundation to match my spray tan. I got my nails done neon bright Barbie pink because my outfit is neon bright Barbie pink. I can't wait to show it to you, but I've got to go hopefully pick up a pair of sandals, get a foundation. Like I've got to go finish getting ready. So let's go to the mall. Elton John is very excited. The boy loves to shop. All right, changed into something a little more breezy so I don't sweat off my spray tan. We're all packed and ready to go. One of my outfits, like the outfit I'm wearing to the award show, I got at New York Fashion Week, but I'm styling it in a different way and I'm really excited to show you guys that on Wednesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday, so Wednesday's the award show um, and then Tuesday tomorrow is when we fly. Um, on Wednesday morning, I also have like a really big important meeting. I know you guys will be really excited about the project if it goes through, so everybody pray. 
good vibes in the comments good vibes in the comments um and that whole outfit you'll see it when i'm there but it's brought to you by japan it's so freaking cute um i don't know what foundation i want to buy i'm really torn i kind of want to try the makeup by mario one heard mixed reviews but i kind of want to try it but i also love my nars sheer glow but maybe the makeup forever hd i'm torn so let's go shopping we'll see what i end up with why hello <laughs> I secured the foundation with Makeup Forever HD. I haven't used it in years, but it used to be my absolute holy freaking grail. And I feel I like- I remember them. Yeah, and it was so beautiful, it was so flawless. They've reformulated it since then, so fingers crossed it's still good, but I think it was the right move. All right, I've been up since 5.30 a.m. I got a lot done, including washing my hair and blow drying it, always a large task for me. Uh, how's my faux tan looking me? Fantastic. Okay. Oh. I only got five hours of sleep, but that's okay because I want to go to bed really early tonight because the time change is going to mess me up and I have to get up super early when I'm in New York and I have a long day there. So it's probably good that I didn't sleep that well. And I woke up with a cold sore on my chin. Love that for me. So that's a look. But we are going to head to the airport now. Neve Burke here lost her passport. Mm -hmm. That's a whole separate story. It's a whole separate story. <laughs> well, you could so, have it in, I guess. Yeah, I'll it. share. I yeah. can, we can have a story time at the, at the hotel or the airport. But we've got to get there a little extra early because we'll see how it is going through the border on an emergency passport because we're visa holders, so, which means she also technically lost her visa. Ooh. Very bad. Naughty. We, so, we've, we've got a dad lined up to go instead if there's any issues. Are you packed and ready, Peter? Yeah, really lined up, Neve. All right, we thankfully made it through. Everything's good, and we're just grabbing quick lunch before we get on the plane. We're gonna share a, what is it, Montreal smoked? Yes, yeah, smoked meat, and it looks delicious. Delish, delish. I'll never say no to a good French fry. Historically, Elton refuses to go to the bathroom at the airport pee rest stops, because they're indoors, and he says no to being inside. But we'll see, we always give it a go. I think there's Braille over here too, isn't there? Yeah. Braille? And then is it a wave to open? Yes. Where do I wave? Oh. You got it. Accessibility. We love to see it. Uh, no pee. Uh, well, I peed. He didn't. To be clear, I peed in the toilet, not in the doggy pee pit. Anyways, now I'm just listening to season three of Queen of the Con. Uh, it's a really good podcast. Highly recommend. We'll be boarding soon. I just met a follower named Max. Hey, Max. They're flying to uh, Las Vegas. Um, and we're in Ireland. Yes. And the thing about flying to New York that always gets me, because I've done this flight west coast to east coast so many times, it's not just a five-hour flight. It is the five-hour flight plus, like, you have to get to the airport three hours early because we're flying on visas you know and then you have to get to the airport then once you land you have to like get your stuff get into a car drive to your hotel like it literally takes an entire travel day we left our place at 10 45 this morning and we will get to our hotel at 8 p.m pst if we're lucky oh, no that's when we land so we'll probably get to our hotel at like 9 30 pst so that's like an 11 hour travel day and that'll be midnight est Are you ready, LT? He's ready. Got a glass of white wine. Flight's off to a good start. Sir Elton John is very comfy cozy down there. Look at him. He hasn't made a peep. No, he's just sleeping. Yeah. She's yes. happy. So my mom and I keep chatting while Elton's sleeping, and I feel like he's down there being like, shh, excuse me. You do keep yammering on and I'm napping. Shh, be quiet. Or crunching nuts. <laughs> Listen, I haven't touched the pasta yet and I've eaten most of my dessert, but before you judge me, the dessert came out first, okay? Was it good? It was. <laughs> yeah. It's like a... Cheesecake? It's a cheesecake and ah, I, I do love your cheesecake. Favorite, yeah. yeah. And it's like a pumpkin spice cheesecake. Yeah. Which is a weird choice for June, but it was really good. And then my pasta just came out. I went with... So there was like a, a Chinese ginger soy rice chicken and there was a vegetarian cheese tortellini. And I didn't really feel like meat. But if the air hostess was like, no, 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 you need that one, that's a good one, I would have got it. But I asked her, and she was like, they're both good, but get the pasta. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, you don't have to twist my arm, so here Yay. we, here we go. Oh, I can feel the steam rising onto my hand. 
Oh, it smells good. He's got the Molly, the Molly B approval. You know what? It tastes like the Trader Joe's frozen meal, which frankly, it's pretty high praise. Elton, say hi to everyone. Elton, where are you? There you are. Did you wake up? Elton John is sticking his head out the window. <laughs> He's a happy boy to have landed. And uh, in the wise, wise words of our Lord and Savior, Taylor Swift, welcome to New York. Our driver is so sweet. He stopped to let Elton pee, and now he's stopped again to go get him a bowl so we can give him some water. What a kind driver. Also, this car is freaking gorgeous. I know I can't drive, but if I ever buy a car for myself, for other people to drive me in, um, this one is so beautiful. I can't afford it, but it's gorgeous. I want it. And the it's electric, love that. Don't love how silent electric cars are though, because as a blind person, dangerous. However, the door handles light up so I can see where to grab them when it's dark out, that is. Here, love. Come on. What a nice guy. <laughs> That's so nice. Royal treatment. Long travel day for all of us. It's like midnight here. And we're not even at the hotel yet. We're staying in Manhattan and like Midtown. And um, you should be staying in Brooklyn or Manhattan. Depends on what we're here for. Finding your way around. <laughs> Are you a little tired, Molly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not particularly interested in doing a room tour, but Neve would like to, so you could yeah, scurry along this. and show them around. This is lovely. Elton's very pleased. Nice big bathroom for New York. Nice room. There we go. Mm -hmm. The two of us have had a long travel day. Elty, we have a long day ahead, huh? Want buggeroons? I think you forgot that he already ate dinner. Yeah, but he's looking for his snack. Do you know who didn't eat dinner? Mmm. Okay, I know who's going out right now. It's 1 a.m. I have to get up at 9 a.m. Uh, that's not enough sleep for me, so I better get to sleep soon. But I'm having a grilled cheese with bacon from the bodega, some ginger lemon health aid kombucha, I'm telling you, you can get food at any hour in New York, and it's good. Like when I came for the Daily Show with Trevor Noah, I was here for a couple days. The amount of these that I ate, I basically ate at a bodega like all day, every day. I had the omelet with with um, potatoes for breakfast, and then I'd have this for lunch or dinner. It is two in the afternoon, and the day has literally just disappeared, and I have so much to still get done, and I'm stressed. But I want to show you my outfit because if you're stressed, at least wear a cute outfit. This is the one I was saying is like entirely brought to us by Japan. We've got the adorable dog purse, the crinkly top from Chico, the Zara linen pants, and then my little staccato summer sandals that are so comfortable. I walked, I had a meeting this morning. That's what the outfit's for. It went amazing. I'm so excited. I can't tell you anything yet, but I will sometime. And so it went great, but that was like a five minute walk away, which was perfect, ideal. Can't believe how that lined up perfectly. Then we've come back. We did a walkthrough of the venue. So I counted out the steps on the stage. I've got five, so I have to take two steps up. And then I walk five steps to the podium for my speech, which I still have to finish memorizing. Um, I also have to write some scripts for some other work stuff. I've had some phone calls. Like it is just so busy. And in half an hour, my hair and makeup is coming. We tried to push it back another hour to buy me a bit more time, but they couldn't, unfortunately. So I'll be sitting in full glam for the rest of the day. <laughs> But oh well, that's okay. I still have to eat lunch. I'm so hungry, so. Chaotic day, that's how it always seems to be in New York. The city that never sleeps truly is constantly going. That's why I get like exhausted every time I come here. I leave so tired. All right, I changed into comfy clothes for hair and makeup. I need to remove the makeup I have on. I'm shoving some food quickly into my mouth. Um, also, somebody on our floor got arrested. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> and in the lobby. Somebody in the lobby was getting arrested when my mom was ordering the food, and then she comes back up and somebody else on her floor was being arrested. I'd say they were probably together. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. They were. It was fraud. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Hair and makeup have arrived. I use Glam Squad like every time I'm in New York. That's just how I get my hair and makeup. And funny enough, my makeup artist has been my makeup artist before. Pre-pandemic, things have changed since then. <laughs> so much has changed. <laughs> but he remembered me, so I guess I maybe look. You know, it hasn't aged me too horrendously. Um, so we decided on hair. We're trying to avoid prom and wedding. Nothing against prom and wedding girlies. I'm just not going to a wedding or prom today. So we're kind of going like sleek. You know, I love, I love me an updo. I love me a bold red lip. So shocker, that's what I'm doing, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. Hair and makeup is done. We have kind of like an 80s vibe going on, both the hair 
stylist and the makeup artist were like so sweet we had a great time uh don't judge the lips i've been eating i just had some snack i had a banana and some yogurt with nuts i'm drinking a mint tea for my voice keep it lubricated and i quite literally you guys it's 5 20 i go down there at 6 30 for my red carpet photos i just just memorized my speech now <laughs> whoops relying on that good memory um i mean i literally finished writing it the night before I, we flew so last minute girly here but i feel good about it fingers crossed it goes well but if it doesn't that's why because i just memorized it um taylor my stylist is going to be here in like 15 20 minutes to help me get ready and she's going to come to the event too we don't get to see her often because she is based in new york so we'll have a fun little girly night together my dress is very 80s i'm very excited about it it's a whole look i'm gonna stand out i'm gonna be different it's like a corporate event and then i'm gonna be in like avant-garde gloves but hey come as you are you should always be true to who you are I feel like that's why I'm winning the award because I'm just authentically myself. I don't know why I'm winning. I don't know why. I feel like it, I feel like I have true imposter syndrome. I mean, always, but especially with this, I'm like, do I deserve this? Are we sure we're talking about the same Molly? Do you get the same, the right Molly? So I don't know why I'm receiving this. I think it's because I'm genuine and authentic. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish getting ready, go over my speech a few more times, touch up the lipstick. I'm gonna have to put some like bronzer on my legs because the fake tan didn't take to my legs as well as the rest of me. And that's like the key part that's showing. As we can see, I am ready in my neon. And look who's here. It's Taylor, my stylist. You might remember her from the Trevor Noah show. I mean, she wasn't on the show. I was. <laughs> <laughs> She helped me look flawless that night. That outfit was a true collaboration of the minds, mostly Taylor. I feel like I contributed a little bit. It looked um, amazing. It was so fun. And she brought over some bags because we didn't have a bag. The bag I liked for the night was Rainbow because Pride Month, you know, support, allyship. Um, but it was $2,000, so sorry. For $2,000, I will be borrowing a bag instead. That's right. Who's this by? This is Puppets and Puppets. It's adorable the cookie bag and it's literally the Clio health awards so i think it's kind of funny and cheeky to like carry a cookie it's so pretty i got these at nordstrom steve madden they just go with the dress perfectly i feel like they don't detract you know you like they're just subtle a color match that's yeah. all we needed it's a color match they're subtle I love went. ready to we love go all right we did our little step and repeat moment got some cute fabulous photos got a gin and tonic very very helpful I just met a follower named Kate. So hello, Kate. She was so sweet. And here's the thing. We all know I love a gloved moment, and so does Taylor, which is why she keeps styling me in them. Um, but as a blind girl, I can't feel anything now. Like, the struggle is real. Okay, so we came in first, just to be calm, you know? We got front row seats reserved. Elsie's laying down nicely. And when we were walking in, the song that was playing was Elton John. So I felt like that was a very good omen for the evening. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'll be happier once it's done. And then I can have a good, strong drink and some nipplies. Get nervous? <laughs> no, no. Just... And you know you can make up the speech. If you... Look, if I have to, it'll be thank you so much. <laughs> no. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Tonight, we're gathered to celebrate our program's most highly awarded work as well as the individuals and organizations who have fearlessly pushed boundaries, defied conventions, and set a new bar for creative excellence within our industry. And for this one, I have somebody very special we want to discuss tonight. For at only four years old, Molly Burke was diagnosed with a rare degenerative eye disease. She began speaking public speaking a year later at the age of five, becoming one of the youngest advocates for an incredibly underrepresented community. It's my privilege to present the 2023 Honorary Cleo Health Award to the presently talented Molly Burke. Uh, it, is, it is such an honor and truly humbling to be receiving the 2023 Honorary Clio Health Award. When I was 14 years old and I first lost the majority of my vision, I struggled a lot with my mental health. I struggled with depression, with anxiety, and with suicidal ideation. But I was fortunate enough to receive the support that I needed to heal and to rebuild my life. And despite the fact that we often hear about the negative effects of social media, 
It was on YouTube where I first found a supportive community. And that community empowered me and inspired me to believe that I could share my voice and I could use platforms like YouTube to amplify my message in the hopes of both normalizing disability as well as providing a safe space for other disabled and chronically ill people. To me, creativity is linking disparate thoughts to create new ideas. And for me, that's linking disability to the idea of so-called normalcy. We are not as different as we may seem. I might experience the world or perceive it in slightly different ways, but in the most important ways, we are all human. And for that, we are ultimately the same. And I hope to use my platform to educate, to motivate, and to inspire people to live their life with passion and with purpose to bridge the gap between how people often view me as a disabled person and to the reality of my lived experience. It is through authentic representation in media and in marketing that we can break down the barriers between us and that we can create more acceptance of disabled people and hopefully combat the social isolation and the lack of accessibility that is so often faced by people in my community. I'm so grateful to be receiving this award. I am so grateful to the millions of people who have supported me on my journey. I am so grateful to the brands and the companies who have partnered with me and supported my mission. But all of that said, we still have a very long way to go. And I hope that each and every single one of you here will join me on the road to true diversity, equity, and inclusion. And this wasn't planned, but it wouldn't be true and authentic to myself and my mission if I didn't take the opportunity in front of a room of complete change makers like you to please ask you to think about adding audio description and captions to your content. Tonight, there's been so many beautiful ads shared though so far and most of it I could not consume because I didn't understand what was happening. So please consider the people who you're creating for, my community, disabled and chronically ill people. We need captions and we need audio description to be able to actually perceive the messages that you're sharing that are so important. And believe me, there is ways to keep the integrity of the beauty and the art of the ads that you're making while still being inclusive of my community. Thank you. My makeup is probably looking crusty dusty at this point. No, it looks lips. great. Like, are you kidding? Thank you, I did it myself. <laughs> Thank you. And my hair. <laughs> I'm literally like in my PJs. My feet are freezing off. I'm so cold. Um, I want a hot water bottle, but we didn't bring one. We nope. should bring one to Spain. Yeah. Spain, coming sure. soon. Next to week. a YouTube channel near you. Next week. And by a YouTube channel near you, I mean this one. Yeah, I, just, it was, I had a lot of fun. It was just... Molly was very cheeky at the end of her speech. I mean, you, you guys saw it. I had to. It's just who I am. That's fair enough. One time I was on a, on a panel sponsored by a brand, and then in the panel, with them sitting there, who paid for the panel, I talked about how inaccessible they are for the blind and shouted out their competitor for being more accessible. So truly, if I see an injustice or a lack of accessibility, I am like foghorn. I will shout it out. I will shove my foot in my mouth. I will be rude in the nicest way possible. And afterwards, I was like, was I too mean? And then I was like, no, I'm mad that I didn't write it into my speech to begin with. Because if I had pre-written it, it would have been much more eloquent. But people loved it. I was in the heat of the moment. And Molly the got the, the only night, standing ovation of the night. And everybody was on their feet. And honestly, every single winner, I was blown away. Fantastic I was stuff. blown away. And the disability representation, albeit though not accessible, God done was incredible. It was. It was fabulous. It was incredible and it gave me so much hope and I was so inspired by the creativity and the talent of everybody in that room that I was like, I'm getting one of these? Like these people are so spectacular. So I was just super honored. Um, I met a number of followers. Are you yawning? Yeah, a little bit. Just a wee bit. It's not even nine o'clock PST. I know. Incredible food too. Oh, fantastic Delish. food. Delicious. Delicious. Just, I got nothing. I got salmon kiblets. And... I got salmon kiblets and that's it. So um, that was my night, and oh, it was really cool. Somebody like referenced me in their speech. Big, big winners. Yeah, big, they big winners. they were talking about how 
you know, most of their content is geared towards the black and brown community and how, you know, what I said in my speech about the importance of can you not lick your crotch while I'm talking about important things? Unfortunately, I couldn't capture the first group. I wasn't expecting it, but yeah, then I, got, I, I captured the rest. But yeah, he was basically saying how what I said in my speech really, really resonated with him. And then he came and shook my hand, and he it was did really at the lovely. End. It was lovely as well. She talked about authentic representation in media and marketing. And I began to think about what we're doing at Hip Hop Public Health, and what we're trying to do is authentic representation in public health communication because inclusivity is critically important the truth of the matter is that the journey to health equity has to pass through health literacy and you know what everybody even though afterwards i was like oh maybe i was too mean um that was a little sharp <laughs> Did you think that? I was like, oh, shit. Er, 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 there goes Molly. Oh, well, has to be said. <laughs> there goes Molly doing her thing. But you know what, Neve? Every single person who came up to me I said know. that that was the part of the speech that was that the most loved. impactful, that yeah. they loved, and that needed to be said. Yeah. And that they're going to take that away with them, and it really resonated. It really, yeah. like, hit them. You can't make content about us without making it accessible to yeah. us. Also, we dodged a freaking bullet, which has been the theme of the day. All day. All day. Like, bullets. for the meeting, All we almost day. went 40 minutes to the wrong direction. Even though it was five minutes down the road, the address in our thing was for Brooklyn, and we're in Manhattan. I think I said that earlier. There was a rainstorm, massive rainstorm that happened just after we walked into the hotel. <laughs> hotel. So we just like massive. It. Huge. And we no umbrella, nothing. Tropical. And I was in a white shirt with no bra. Shocker. Me wearing no bra? Ugh. Your hair would have been all wet. Horrible. Yeah. And bugger ruins would have been so wet. Oh wait, that would have been worse. And you know the That's food, the worst. With all that hair. Good. <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. Then tonight, stop kissing me. I think he's trying to kiss his leg, but my hands in the way. Um, then tonight, we were almost gonna have to get a car at 5 a.m., which is 2 a.m. for us, which means we would have had to get up at 1 a.m. for us. And I don't go to sleep typically till midnight, so I probably would have gotten mad. It'll take a while to get wind down tonight. Yeah, I'm really hyped. It would have taken max an hour. I would have gotten max an hour of sleep. We don't actually have to get there until 12.30, not 9 a, or not um, 6 a.m. We would have been there seven hours early. <laughs> so, and sorry, nowhere to go. To clarify. There would have been nowhere to go except the airport. No, seven hours earlier than we needed to. So we would have been there <laughs> 10 hours before but the But you're flight. right, though. I do remember Mom. saying that's way too early because the, the first flight, we were supposed to be on that one. And no, I it was a different one because that one's coming from Minnesota. We would have been there 10 hours before the plane took off, Mom. That would have been terrible. Seven hours earlier than we needed to. There's no reason And we go three hours airport. early. Like, so there's nothing to do. 10 hours early. Oh, that my would have God. Been a nightmare. A nightmare. So we dodged that bullet and quickly changed our car service. So the whole day has been dodging bullets. Dodged the bullet. And we weren't the ones that got arrested. That's great news. Oh, yeah, the arrest. That was exciting. That was it's been, like, crazy. Look, the days. true crime lover in me was like, oh. I was here for it. Anna Delvey who? New York City, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to listen to that podcast you've been telling me about. Queen of the Con. So good. Yeah. Time to say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Okay, I'm going to take my makeup off. I have the dreaded makeup wipes, but, you know, when you're traveling, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Okay. Love you, Molly. Night, night. I wish I had some night, hot everybody. tea. Got a green juice in hand. I've yet to step out of my bed this morning. <laughs> I did my makeup, my skincare, and ate breakfast all from the comfort of my bed. Oh, and I got dressed whilst laying in bed. So, lazy girl win today. We're going to be heading to the airport. In about 30 minutes, we leave. Right, Melton Man? I forced him to get on the bed because I wanted cuddles. And now he won't really cuddle with me. He's just laying independently on the bed. Right? He forgot that he had breakfast this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so he's kind of annoyed. He got up extra early for brekkie. Yeah, it looks like he's relaxing. Okay. <laughs> He got extra early for breakfast. And then he was like, yo, I've not had breakfast yet, guys. And we're like, Get no, up you, quick. You have. And he's like, no, no, get up. I haven't had breakfast. And I was like, no, no, you have. So. Oh, also, I asked my mom if I looked okay. And she stands there looking at me for like quite some, like 30 seconds in silence. And I was like, <laughs> and she's like, yeah, you look fine. And I was like, she's stressed me out. I did it deliberately. Keep her on her toes, guys, eh? Okay, so we're at the airport, and you know me, I love finding like unintentional or accidentally accessible design. And the bathroom at the New York airport 
has like a big giant light up sign for the restroom. So it is the obviously the female shape of the women's restroom. And it's very, very big and it's light up. So for low vision people, this is awesome because the size is very helpful as well as the fact that it's light up, it creates a really great high color contrast. So I love this, this is amazing. So I ended up leaving my hair in from last night and just sleeping with it in, which I, I usually cannot wait to get an updo out of my head because it hurts, like the bobby pins and the tightness and the pulling, but she slayed, like it's so comfy. I'm so comfortable. So I slept with it in because I knew I was just gonna have to throw my hair up today to fly home anyway since I have so much gel in it. So I'm pleased about that. And we're grabbing some lunch before the flight. Not a single restaurant. They're all sit down restaurants, but not a single one isn't where you have to like order on the iPad. So we picked this one. We ordered on the iPad and they bring out plastic utensils, which is driving me up the wall. Why? This is so unsustainable. This is a sit down restaurant. Why are we bringing people plastic cutlery? so unsustainable, it's driving me nuts. Well, keeping the lack of sustainability going at this expensive sit-down restaurant. The soup and salad are here in plastic to-go containers. I cannot, I cannot. Don't mind me eating my soup. <laughs> my like $20 soup. Oh, by the way, on the menu, it shows like a picture of it and it describes it as having like croutons and walnuts with a spicy drizzle of a, like a sour cream drizzle. Like, I have a photograph of it. <laughs> I sell it in my teeth, so not bad. my name, but this is just absurd. What is happening? No, it's just getting funny. I just took a sip of my mint tea and it was very much just black tea. So this is just comical. This is so bizarre. Hello, I am home and exhausted. We arrived home yesterday evening. <laughs> he has, always has to find a way to make it about him. I know, oops, sorry. <laughs> we, we, both, we both have the hiccups. <laughs> We're both tired, we both have the hiccups. It is Friday evening. I'm home with a new piece of hardware in hand. It's heavy, you guys. Like this is like straight up a weapon. Like you can hurt somebody with this. They actually got it through customs. I'm like, holy how they didn't take it off. It has to be 20 pounds. It has braille on it, which is the sweetest thing. They put braille on my award. This is so cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is the prettiest award I've received. I have been fortunate enough to receive a shorty and a streamy. And this one's the prettiest by far. So I will be displaying her in my studio it's here. It's very solid, isn't it? It's like like a, I feel like deal. I got an Oscar or something. <laughs> I want to thank my agent and the casting director. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful. I feel very honored. I'm still like, did they get the right Molly Park? But it's very, it's, I'm very fortunate. So um, the rest of our day after that bizarre meal was equally bizarre. It was just wasn't a great flight. The energy, the vibes were off. But the most important thing is that the day before, the day that really mattered, all of the vibes were golden. Yeah. That was the day. Literally. Yeah. Golden. golden. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Mom. Well, At least somebody yeah. thinks I'm funny. Yeah, I thought um, it was funny. All right. That is it for today's video. I have got to go because I have got to get ready because we are heading to Spain in four days. Well, not even four days anymore. It's Friday evening and we live Tuesday morning. So we got to get the nails done, the eyebrows waxed, we've got to get the hair done, these bangs are not banging anymore, we've got to finish packing, so much to be done, so I'm gonna skedaddle, until next time, thank you so much for supporting me, thank you so much for watching me, you are so much the reason that I received this, so I appreciate each and every single one of you, I also appreciate the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash mollybark to receive 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. You can click over here if you missed my boyfriend announcement and you're like, you have a boyfriend? What? Go watch that vid. Or you can click over here to see, I don't know, the Erewhon taste test that I did.